When the Supreme Court invalidated the August 8th presidential poll, the Jubilee Party set out to make changes to the electoral laws. These changes, the party argued, would seal gaps that were exploited by the opposition NASA to have the presidential results nullified. On Thursday, Jubilee employed its numerical tyranny to endorse the changes, and now the ball is in the court of President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has previously indicated his willingness to have the amendments come into law. Results ambaye itakuwa ya mwisho ni ile results ambaye mutatangaza katika hapa Matayo's polling station. Na hiyo results iletwe mpaka Nairobi ikiwa na sahi ya returning officer na hiyo ndiyo itakuwa final. Tumefanya makosa jameni, si tunafanya tu vile yeye likuwa nataka. The debate on the amendment saw the opposition stay away from debate even as Makweni Senator Mutula Kilonzo sought to strike out some amendments to the bill. Move out the amendment, Senator Mutula Kilonzo Jr. Yes, so he is absent. In the amendments, IABC commissioners will have the privilege to elect amongst themselves a member to announce presidential election results in case the chairperson or the vice chair are absent. I want to assure the nation that this is a um, great opportunity for each one of us to now prepare for the elections without any fear because the lacunas, the loopholes that have been in the law, Mr. Speaker, have now been sealed. The proposed law also seeks to make manual transmission of results mandatory and in case there is a discrepancy between the electronically transmitted results, the manually transmitted results shall prevail. Now the, the legislature has pronounced itself, Mr. Speaker, this country can now move forward. We can be able to say that, yes, there is a reference point to which elections can be conducted on the 26th of October this year, Mr. Speaker. The bill further seeks to put in law that in case a candidate withdraws from a repeat election, the remaining candidate shall be declared elected forthwith as the president-elect. Any returning officer who refuses to sign all electoral documents will be liable to five years in jail. The passage of the amendments come 14 days to the poll, handing President Kenyatta an ample time to ascend to the bail which may take effect immediately. NASA has expressed its opposition to the amendments, threatening legal action should the president append his signature to the bail.